Hi, I'm Jennifer Escalera, and today I'm going to show you what instruments I'll be using for today's Sacred Song Meditation. My name is Jennifer, and I teach people how to use sound healing so that they can bring inner peace in their life, a sense of relaxation, and a higher connection to their consciousness. So as you can see, I'm in a new setting. I'm outside my office today. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Southern California. And I wanted to read something uh, to you from a fellow meditator. And she says, her name's Caitlin. And she says, honestly, amazing. I laid on the floor with blue celestite on my third eye, rose quartz on my heart and black tourmaline on my sacral chakra. It was intense and I felt so activated. I went through an experience over the weekend that I believe pushed me into the next step of my evolution and I was starting to feel a little dark about it. I did the meditation and was suddenly crying during it. It was amazing and uplifting and energizing and I felt my vibrations rising. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Caitlin for sharing your experience with these uh, sacred sounds. And if you'd like to share any of your experiences with the meditations, please make sure to write me a little note so that I can share with our community. So today we're gonna to be focusing on the crown chakra, which is our seventh chakra. And I'm gonna be using one Tibetan bowl and it's in the B note. So we're gonna be working through um, some channeling higher levels of consciousness. This is our way to our spirit guides, to God, to any type of higher spirit realm. Um, today's meditation is really gonna help you concentrate on that. And I'm gonna be using my rose quartz wind chimes. And wind chimes are often associated with angels, so I thought I'd bring in some angel energy into our meditation. And for the beginning and ending, I'm going to be using the Ting Shaws. And then to set a little bit more of some guidance and intention, a lesson that we need to hear this week for our soul's journey are these soul journey cards. All right. So let's see what we get. What kind of message do we need to hear this week? Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. We got this a few weeks ago. It's very interesting how there's a theme of similar cards that I keep that keep popping up. But yes, absolutely. So part of this meditation that I do every week is a discipline. And when you create discipline or rituals or ceremonies, these are a way for you to activate your higher sense of source, of God, the angels, your guides. And if you can set um, your mind to something, you can accomplish anything, you can manifest anything. So the idea of accomplishing something is being really disciplined is having structure. And when you can create structure in your life, there's a sense of control. So if you are feeling out of control or maybe you're too high up in your spirit realm and it's making you um, not focus, create some type of discipline or some type of ritual this week and using today's meditation to connect to your angels, to connect to your guides and listen and connect to your source and find out what, um, what message you need to hear. So if you can, um, as you're working on the meditation this week, see if you can write down one goal one challenge for you this week that you will create a discipline for. And I would love to hear what that is and how it's going for you and all that good stuff. So I hope that was helpful. And if you'd like to watch any of my other videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to listen to today's meditation, there's a link below this video, so make sure to click on that. All right, so I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.